boom we are live ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it is of course your boy nolan hawkeye anthony here and i thank you all for being here and i hope you guys have had a fantastic week wherever you may be and of course however you may be listening first and foremost i need to apologize for all the previous videos i did not the content the content was pretty good but i absolutely have been talking into the mic the wrong way so hopefully it sounds better it sounds way 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 better in my headphones so hopefully um that is upgraded by the way i don't take I virtually take nothing personal. Um, you have to be that way in order to do this either as a hobby or as a job. Um, so if you think that there is something that I could be doing as far as the mic or the camera uh, a little bit better, just you know, drop me a comment uh, and have it actually be uh constructive you know not just yo dude you know you're doing it terribly that that helps nobody okay um anyways let's get to the meat of this video so i just wanted to let you guys know about that and uh if you if there's something in the future you need to let me know feel free to do that the meat of this video the iowa hawkeyes wrestling team lost to the Penn State Nittany Lions 19 to 13 in the dual meet. And I've said this in the other only one wrestling video that I have done before. You know, I don't know a ton of uh, about wrestling. I mean, I would wrestle for fun with my boys, uh, my, you know, my friends growing up and uh, as you know, I played collegiate water polo, which is a form of wrestling and uh, gaining position uh, and certain moves and things in the water. But even then, water polo and this, the rules and scoring system is vastly different from wrestling. Wrestling. Uh, so, like I said, I do not know a ton technically about wrestling. The one comment that I did want to have, and we will dive into um, the results of this match, is, and let's go back here. As you can see, one of the Iowa uh, media members said, Friday was just the beginning for Penn State versus Iowa wrestling fireworks. And I do agree with that. Um, I posted on Facebook my main thought, which I'm going to reiterate right now which is that in a meet like this with the obvious top two teams in the country, there are going to be a ton of 50-50 matches. And there were, in fact, a bunch of 50-50 matches. And as an Iowa fan, obviously, uh, Iowa just did not get it done. The, all the 50-50 matchups and how I view a 50-50 matchup, and I'll just give you an example, is by the ranking system to a novice uh, individual like myself when it comes to wrestling. Number one versus number three. That to me is a 50-50 matchup. Now you could say, well, you know, Roman Bravo Young is just clearing away the best. Austin, regardless of what he's ranked, doesn't have a chance. I got it, okay? I totally understand that, and that's valid, and it's a good point. But for me, 50-50 is just looking at the rankings, uh, and if they are pretty neck and neck, uh, that's what I consider a 50-50. It could go either way, and Iowa just didn't get it done, Um now, obviously, Iowa is without their top wrestler who would have given them a virtually guaranteed three points or even more in Spencer Lee. And yes, that's a big deal. Not only were they without him, but they were also without Drake Aiea. And I was lucky enough to uh, get an interview with him a couple of years back, and he is a good kid. I don't know how long he will be out for. 
but uh, that would have made a difference. Now, would Drake have beaten Drew uh, Hildebrandt? I don't know. I you know now if it was Spencer Lee, I would have felt very confidently that yes, he would have indeed won. And so yes, that is a big deal. So we will see how that shapes up, how much better Drake Aiea gets uh, by the end of the season. And if that would make a difference in the team, the overall team score. But if we look at everything else, like I said, you know, uh, Roman or R, you know, RBY beat Austin DeSanto, uh, in a very close, uh, matchup three to two, Nick Lee, uh, uh, number one versus number two beat Jaden Iron, uh, Ironman six to four in overtime. Um, you know, I, you know, we keep looking at this. Iowa did get a 50, 50 win with Max Murin, uh, beating Bo, uh, Bartlett, but we keep going down here. And again, just, you know, number one versus number two, Carter Starochi versus Michael Kemmerer again, went to Penn state, uh, number three versus number five. Uh, Iowa did get that one as Cassiope got the Tony Cassiope got the upset, uh, over Greg Curvelet. Excuse me if I'm, uh, messing up on the, on the names, but, uh, overall, just like, you know, Max Dean versus Jacob Warner, 50, 50, uh, Penn state got the win. And, and let's just count up the 50 fifties in my opinion. It would be 133, uh, 141, so that's two, um, 149, uh, let's keep going here, um, 165, uh, 174, um, 184 is probably too much out of, out of reach for me, so 197, that's six, and 285, that's seven 50-50 matchups in my opinion. And I think Iowa maybe won two. They won with Tony Cassiope and they won with Alex Marinelli, but the rest Penn State won. Now, what does this mean? And we're going to wrap this up really quickly. Well, to be honest, it doesn't mean a whole lot. Uh, now, it means that Penn State is virtually guaranteed to win the Big Ten title, which sucks. Uh, it's always nice to be able to put, you know, a conference championship a tournament championship or a national championship and hang it uh, in the arena. Uh, so that is too bad. Now you never know Penn state might lose, but I highly doubt it looking at the future. Um, and, but, you know, really what this means is not a whole lot for the national championship, which is what these guys care about the most and not a whole lot for the big 10 tournament. And, uh, a lot can happen between now and then in guys improving or getting injured or, you know, who knows what can happen. A lot can happen. Uh, I do think it would have made a big difference if Drake Aiea was here. Like I said, is it a guarantee he would have won? No, it's not. Um, but I do think he would have done better, obviously, than Jesse Ibarra, who is the third, uh, third string 125-er. So, um, you know, we will see. There's a lot of work left to be done. Uh, I don't think um, Iowa fans should be too worried. At the end of the day, folks, as an Iowa fan, myself, Iowa has all the guys except for Spencer Lee, and yes, that's a big difference, but they still have Drake Aiea, uh, that they had from last year. And you have to ask yourself, do you think that the Iowa wrestlers that are back from last year can do the same and even a little bit better than what they did last year in which they won the national championship? And in my opinion, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. I feel very confidently about that. Now, you know, Penn State is a behemoth of a team. Uh, and so uh, they will obviously get better as well. So here are the results. Unfortunately, Iowa lost. It is too bad, but we will see uh, the type of growth that happens moving forward. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Your boy, Nolan Hawkeye Anthony. Uh, be sure to smash the subscribe button because, well, subscribing makes you feel good. 
And at the very least, like, comment, share. I didn't even ask you guys to sub at the beginning of the show. So please uh, subscribe. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter at 247 Hawkeye. Uh, I'll put the PayPal link in the description. Um, and without further ado, DVAP, don't be a pussy willow. In fact, our feelings, because your feelings don't matter. Love y'all. Bye.